went for a horizontal. Okay, so we needed to increase our capacity and throughput on some uh, higher volume medical parts that we've been making this year. And so, were you working with White House? Who kind of decided, right, horizontal machining is the way forward? So White House machine tools have given me the task to come here to CTPE to speak to Alex to get a follow-up on that very video. So Alex, you've won no work. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So what sector is it? Um, so yeah, different sector. Uh, we're doing quite a lot for the defence industry now. Oh my gosh. This looks so different. Yeah, that's because it's uh, grown in size since the last time you were here. Oh my good. So, you, what's, what, what's changed? That's new. Yes, yeah, so we've expanded the machine with a pallet pool, so it's now six pallet machines in total. So before it was a twin pallet, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. And so what, what, how have you done this? Because you wanted it, years ago you said you wanted to expand, didn't you? That's right, so we wanted to buy a machine that gave us flexibility for the future. Um, and that's why we chose this machine in the first place. Um, so we've, we've finally done it now, four years later, and expanded the machine to a six pallet. I think you were thinking ahead and White House, what, how, how did that come about? Did White House come to you and say, we've got a machine that we can expand for you? Or is it something that you said, I, this is something I need? Um, so originally when we bought the machine, um, we didn't set out wanting to buy a multi-pallet machine. Um, yes. We were doing stuff in higher volume, so we wanted a twin pallet horizontal machine. Right. We decided on that. Um, and then one of the key benefits of this particular machine from White House was the fact that you can expand it in the future. So that was like a, a massive selling point, a massive plus point to have that flexibility for the future. Could you afford it back then? And I, know, I mean that as a, 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 were you ready for it? Was it that a, too big of an investment then? What was holding you back from going all out? Yeah. So it probably would have been too big an investment for us at the time to go straight to a six pallet machine um, because obviously you need a lot of work to, to, keep this, to keep the machine fed because obviously the amount of hours it runs for. So we knew we had enough work for a twin pallet machine Yeah. but obviously now finally we've got enough work to, for a six pallet machine. I've never seen this. Genuinely I've never seen this before because we go out to companies and we see a lot of big brands out there that have these pallet pools but for you to have that choice in the future Four years on, you're here, it looks so different before. And it's a brand that, before we go and see the pallet port, that's quite a big leap, a brand, because Avery is a brand that isn't as well known as some big brands out there. So why did you go for it in the first place? Because that takes quite a lot of confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have confidence in the supplier. Wow. Um, because we've previously had other machines from them. And obviously those machines have been excellent in terms of their performance and their um, versatility and then the service from White House themselves has been good so we had confidence that although the machine wasn't a well-known brand that it would perform because obviously the previous machines have. And does it? It does absolutely yeah it's been brilliant. W what is so good about this Avrex then? And I know we're going to see the pallets in a moment but what is so good about M it? Many many things. Um, it's, it's, it's For one it's been really reliable just like the other machines. Um, the performance of it is fantastic, very, very quick, um, very, very accurate. Have you pushed it to its limit? Yes, we do. Yeah, we, we, we do push it hard on aluminium and stainless steel. And yeah, so. Let's go see the pallets because um, it looks, I can't begin to tell you, well, you'll see on previous videos if you watch it, how different it is. So the twin pallet was over there, wasn't it, in the far? Yes, is that's that right. right. Yeah, the loading station was on the end here and now it's, now it's here. Now it's here? Yeah. And so you're putting two, you've got six pallets. Yeah. What are you putting on the pallets then? And how do you kind of schedule what you put on the pallets? Um, so yeah, we've got six pallets. We've got grid style tombstones. Um, and we've got a, a wide variety of work holding uh, fixtures and vices that can go onto these grid tombstones. So depending on what the work is, we can basically adapt, we can, you know, we can, because of the grid holes and the zero point, we can just pull things off, change fixtures over, change jobs over pretty simply um, without having to reset work offsets, so yeah. And, and so what materials are you putting on there? Are you limited? Uh, no, not at all. We're, I mean, we're machining a wide range of materials from aluminium 
up to 316 stainless steel. Well, you're pushing it. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at the palettes now. I mean, just look at these tombstones, all different shapes of... What, what's so... How are you finding the performance of the horizontal machine? Yeah, I mean, the performance of the machine's been absolutely fantastic since we've had it in. You know, we've, we've seen big, big cycle time reductions from, from our old machines that it replaced. Um, the reliability's been fantastic. It really is just such a high performance machine. Um, when you compare it to similar machines on the market from more well-known brands, this is delivered just as much as what one of those machines would do, in our opinion. Really? Yeah. Because you don't know this brand as often, you don't see it as often, and the fact that it's proven that to you is so, that's huge for industry to know about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it isn't, I suppose the name isn't always everything. It's the, the performance of the machine and the way the machine's built. Right, let's go back round to the front then. Are there limitations on what you'd put on the machine? No, not, not at all. I mean, as long as it fits on there inside the work envelope, then no, we, we can put anything we want on there, regardless of the material. Do you want to light like out? Absolutely, yeah. You do? Yeah, I mean, the machine's been running since the pallet port's been feared. We've been getting at least 18 hours a day out of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Has that transformed the way that you and your business works, having that lights out run? Absolutely, because it just basically means we can be working on more jobs at the same time, which obviously brings down the lead time for customers. You know what, when I came here four years ago, I saw a lot of your brothers there, and you were talking about this being something that you wanted to do in the future, yeah. and it's here. How has it changed the business? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it, it has made a massive difference to the amount of work that we can take on now. And obviously we had customers, we've won new customers, and then our existing customers want us to do more. Oh really? So obviously, by having this, it's enabled us to do that because you don't want to take on new customers but then let your existing ones down. So obviously, this has enabled us to do that. So, what does the future hold for you here, Alex? And you've well, got another baby on the way as well. So, you sleep this night? Hopefully, hopefully, some you know, carry on the way we're going really because it feels like we're we're on a good trajectory. So hopefully, it just continues on.